How's everybody? So here I'm going to Krill here and this is a new section on my channel. So uh, we're going to jump into it. We're going to go what I consider probably one of the um, most versatile engines that we've got in uh, South Africa. So um, yeah, bear with me. And obviously down in the comments, just let me know what engine you would like me to cover next. And uh, we're going to cover an engine that's been like three decades around, modifying, tuning, uh, different forms of it, higher and massive Frankenstein builds. But uh, today we're going to talk about the four AGE, twin cam, 16 valve and 20 valve since 1983 till 1998. 1998 obviously, the black top 20 valve which was the last one. So. <laughs> Let's just break it down and the engine allocation is pretty simple with Toyota and um, yeah, let's, let's just give you that information now. It's 4 AGE, 4A standing for the 4th division of the A block, G being a performance cylinder head, which we'll talk a little bit more later in the video, and E, electronic fuel injection system. So uh, the A block engine obviously started in 1978 with the 1AC and then uh, 2006 it ended up with the 8AFE which we never received in South Africa or to the best of my knowledge we didn't receive it and then uh, 7AGE and 9AGE which are not Toyota built engines we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video as well we'll get to that and then uh, <clears throat> let's just see the 4A block started uh, with the 4AC which was the single cam 8 valve carbureted engine uh, which not too sure if we actually got them here in South Africa or at all. And then uh, followed by the 4AFE, which was the uh, narrow head 16 valve. You can put it that way, two cam shafts, electronic fuel injection, uh, didn't make a lot of power, but it was the beginning. And then in 1983, the 4AGE came along. We never received them in the uh, AE86. We never got AE86s in South Africa, but uh, we do get them in what we like to call the wet look or the wedge look, which is the chisel shape uh, Corolla and Conquest RSIs. And then we got them the 4AG e motor also in the twin cam bubble, which is the 90s model, and bubble Corolla and Conquest. And then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that was the performance engine which we found in our Conquest and Corolla wedge shape and bubble shape uh, RSIs, no. better known twin cams. And then uh, <clears throat> we never got them in the rear wheel drive. Unfortunately, we never got the 86. That's in South Africa. And the 4AGE was the uh, replacement engine for um, the 2TG, which uh, the G will obviously be explained a little bit later in the video. And uh, the replacement engine of the 4AGE was the 3ZZ, which uh, most everybody will ever actually tell you it's really spiritually the 2ZZ engine, which is the replacement of the 4AGE in the Aronix or the next generation of Toyotas. So, uh, 4AGE motor was one of two engines that got very highlighted in anime. Uh, being in on initial D Takumi Sans AE86 to Panda through Weno, and then uh, being built to guys being building those things the 4 AGE to rev over 9,000. It's over 9,000! Uh, Formula Atlantic uh, known to rev to about 11,000 if I'm not mistaken, and then. Uh, The 4AGA motor was actually built on another engine builder specifications, all very similar. Um, we will obviously compare the bores and the strokes of these engines on the screen at the moment. And then uh, that motor is actually built by Cosworth, which is a British engine builder. Uh, the BDA, oh, the bore and stroke will now come on the screen. And then the 4AGE being the first belt driven twin cam. So both cams were driven by a single drive belt and those that's the 4AG was the very first one just remember the 4AFE was driven one cam and then it was driven some other way uh, 
and the 4AGE was the official engine for the former Atlantic, uh, which made about 240 brake horsepower naturally aspirated. Uh, revving from 9,000 to 10,000 rpm, 10, 11,000 rpm, and then we've got um, the 4 AGE. Uh, the design is actually an over square design, which means the bore of the cylinder is bigger than the stroke, which allows for high revving and also gives us a nice size. Valves can be used in your combustion chamber in your cylinder head. And the 4 AGE consisted of a cast iron block which would take a lot of abuse, it's very heavy, but it take the punch abuse and it would take boost reliably. And the Siamese cylinder is mean tightly packed to allow the engine fitment into a small engine base or compact vehicles. Obviously I'll put more information about the Siamese cylinders on the screen, assembly of the sub. It's got five main bearings, uh, forged steel crank, shaft and then cast conrads as part of its build the cylinder head cylinder head development was done by yamaha now rule of thumb as soon as the engine derivative has a g in its in its naming then it means that yamaha was involved in the development of the head making it a performance cylinder head and then uh, tuning uh, people have done so many different things with the twin cam motor they've done cams, branches, throttle bodies, um, and as well as adjustable uh, verniers for the cams. It uh, doesn't give you much gain, but obviously the 4AGE uh, did pretty well with running boost. Same with the 4AGZE, which obviously was a step up because it was built to take on a little bit of a boost because it was supercharged from the factory. So if you want big power and naturally aspirated, you're going to have to aspire to build a Formula Atlantic build, which is not going to be cheap. It's going to be pretty expensive. And then uh, if you want a really big power, cheaply done, then you're going to have to just add some boost or get this 4AGZE bottom end and run some boost on it. Then we've got, uh, as I said earlier, the 7AGE and the 9AGE. I'm just going to run through this quickly. 7AFE which is a 1.8 liter motor, which was found in the Toyota Corolla, uh, which has the same bore as the 4AGE motor, but a different stroke, which means it has better low end torque. And then uh, to build a 7AGE, simple, 7AFE block, 4AGE head. And then uh, 9AGE is a super Frankenstein, and it's pretty expensive. It's 4AGE head, 16 valve or 20 valve, 7AFE block, which is the 1.8 block, then 2ZZ uh, crankshaft or custom crank, which is your Runex uh, RSI uh, crankshaft, and 2ZZ GE Conrods, which is also your Runex RSI uh, rods or custom rods if you can get them made, and then four custom pistons which you have to have made. This placement will be bumped up from 4 AGE being 1600, 9 AGE being 1.9 liter, and then uh, a 20 valve head has got a better airflow according to the uh, intake port angle of that uh, of the cylinder heads and it was pretty uh, wide on the 16 valve and it became a little bit narrower i'll put the picture up there the cross section on that so let me know in the uh, comments down below what do you guys think what engine i should be featuring next hopefully i'll be able to do it without a script but uh, yeah it's a lot of information that needs to be taken down and if you have any questions or anything you would like to suggest, please put it down in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to ding the notification bell.